Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week the state has signed off on a new pilot program to look into ways to use less road salt on highways in the Adirondacks and at the same time deal with the damage salt is doing to the environment and people's drinking water. The snow is starting to fall and that means the plow trucks will soon be back on the road. Governor Andrew Cuomo this past week signed into law a new pilot program for the Adirondacks that creates a task force that'll look for and recommend alternatives to road salt, which has been used for decades to melt ice and snow on highways. Salt has been effective, but at a cost. We've known for years and years and decades now the corrosive effects that salt has on our environment. Salt is getting into our waterways and our aquifers and doing damage to them. And we must do something about this. The Randy Preston Salt Reduction Act is named in honor of the former Wilmington Town Supervisor, who died after battling cancer last year. Preston worked for many years to limit the use of road salt. He would be so honored and so humbled One thing you can say about Randy is he loved the Adirondacks, and I applaud everyone for not letting this quit, for pushing it through on his behalf. So thank you very much for not letting this die with him. Dan Kelting with the Adirondack Watershed Institute at Paul Smith's College says the state has dumped 7 million tons of road salt on roads in New York over the past 50 years. We've known for quite a long time that road salt is a pollutant and it can have significant impacts on, on clean water. Kelting says the salt has run off the highways and into waterways like Lake Colby, which he says now has some of the highest salt concentration in the region. And they've tested hundreds of wells and discovered salt in drinking water, forcing families like the Plumadors who live along State Route 3 in Saranac to haul in fresh water every week. We looked at uh, people's well water, over 500 wells in the park, and we indeed we discovered significant well water or groundwater contamination, which is a, a direct human health concern. So, and again, just like with, with our lakes, like Lake Colby, we found that uh, people's private drinking water wells that were located downslope of state highways had much higher concentrations of salt, sodium chloride in them. So the science really uh, supported uh, this legislation in terms of seeing widespread salt concentrations in our surface waters, our streams and lakes, which has consequences for our ecosystems. But more importantly, in terms of human health, significant widespread groundwater pollution from road salting. So, so that was the science that really supported the need for this task force. The 14 members of that task force will be made up of environmentalists, scientists, state and local highway officials, and lawmakers. They'll begin meeting in the new year and for the next three years create a pilot project for the Adirondack Park. It looks in new and different methods of treating ice and snow covered highways and if salt is necessary to closely monitor its use and impact on the environment. You might be impacted, it might take you a little longer to get someplace. But if we're keeping our lakes and rivers and streams clean, that is key for our economy, for our environment as well. Senator Little said the road salt bill may very well be the last piece of legislation she has sponsored that gets signed into law. She said she is grateful it was signed by Governor Cuomo before she ends her 25-year career in the state legislature at the end of the month.